Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of All About Stillwell. This afternoon, we will be filming from Phil Mahaney's Custom Auto. And right now, you're looking at a 1954 Chevrolet Corvette. And this model and several we'll be looking at closely with the owner, Phil Mahaney. So join us for this edition of All About Stillwell. We're here with the owner, Phil Mahaney, and Phil, could you tell us, how did you first get interested in uh, working on cars and building them? Well, I've been doing that all my life. Uh, as nine years old, my dad had a station, and there was a body shop and detail shop, and nine, ten years old, I was working out in the detail and body shop, and so I grew up in cars. I remember my first in California was my first big job was a 57 Chevy that we did and I've just been staying with it ever since uh, and we decided to start our business in Stillwell, Oklahoma because all the our families from here and all we did is move home really. Mm -hmm. So we've been here going on 14 years now. Uh, love of cars and building cars and taking what I call a piece of junk and turn it into a show car is what yeah. I like to do. We also do the insurance work, we do the detail work, they want their car detailed. We have the trim shop where we do the upholstery. Uh, we also do furniture and my wife and mom do the trim work mm -hmm. on all of our stuff that you'll see today. Uh, we try and do whatever the customer needs for our area then we'll go to the car shows and try and get more custom work mm -hmm. so that's about what we've been doing out here and I guess it takes a little bit of uh, courage on some of these to just completely cut one into ha in half or to cut the top off and then well, I've take been off again. was crazy <laughs> <laughs> uh, our stretch truck if you'd have seen it now we did have to take it to Fort Smith and have it set up into a big frame machine and they built our carrier bearings and drive shafts because it's got three long drive shafts and we pieced it together down in Fort Smith then we drove it home just tacked together and totally gutted it out I sat on a milk carton driving it home <laughs> <laughs> and it looked terrible but uh, it uh, finished product has been real good to us. We finished it in 88 and we've been coast to coast with it and which I'll tell you a little bit about it whenever we get over to the truck. But it's, okay. it's been the limousines, the uh, well we do a lot of funeral cars too whether it's a VIP car. VIP car is a, a custom limousine and then a funeral car is a, is a regular six-door car mm -hmm. with three seats. And then we do a lot of funeral cars from all over. We've done them as far away as Memphis, uh, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, and they'll have us redo their whole fleet of funeral cars and update them. And they're low mileage, but they just need to be updated. And so mm -hmm. we do a lot of funeral cars from all over. Uh, that, again, is custom work. Uh, but we still, if they have a wreck and they want us to fix them, we'll do our best to fix them. Yeah. Uh, whatever way they want us to do. We do lots of insurance work. Uh, a lot of people think that I don't do the insurance or the detailing anymore, that we're just doing custom. We still do whatever the Steelwell trade wants us to do. Yeah. Uh, we can take a little tour. And, uh, back here we're building a, a 52 MG. I don't know if you can see it, but it's. we take them all to pieces and it's 52 model and it'll probably be six months down the road and that's Burt College's car and I'll show you some of the customers cars that we've built that we've taken to car shows also uh, we've got some out here that we'll show you okay let's go out and take a look at the cars then We're here with probably what is the uh, showcase of uh, 
the Mahaney garage here. It's uh, a uh, customized cowboy limousine. It's also known as the Red Rose of Rabbit Trap. And Phil, since he lives here in the Rabbit Trap community, has been uh, named the mayor of Rabbit Trap by <laughs> country and <laughs> western artist Barbara Fairchild. Well, she nicknamed me that, the mayor of Rabbit Trap, and it's kind of stuck with me. On this, this truck here, I'll kind of explain a little bit about it. Uh, we've had a crew of guys that's worked for me over the years on helping this. It's not just Phil Mahaney, it's the boys that work for me too, to take credit for everything. We take pride in what we're doing, and we try and have a showpiece when we're done. On the inside, my wife and mom has done the interior. Uh, it's got the TV and VCR. Then it's got the rear air and heat under the seat. We've got the electric privacy window. And above the privacy window, we've got music rhythm lights. So at night, you see the rhythm lights going down the road. <laughs> uh, we call it the classic cowboy carriage. It is a cowboy's limousine, is what it is. Uh, we've designed, I've had many local people helping work on it to build it. Uh, we have the windows, I don't know if you can see the windows here, are engraved. Uh, my daughter's learning how to do it, which is Leanne, but this particular one, Terrell Hatfield was working for me at the time, and he helped us lay out the patterns, and uh, there's probably 20 some hours of just engraving this into the glass. It's cut into the glass. Uh, Dad's getting too shaky and my daughter's taking over for me <laughs> to do this and she's doing a good job on some of the engraving on the windows. Uh, at night it looks like a Christmas tree. We have the limousine lights on the outside there. Uh, the oak trim is sawmill run. It's got a roll top desk trim and then it's got a sound system throughout the truck up here. Of course, we have a cowboy's hat rack. We've got a brass spit tune for a cowboy in there. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the roll top desk in the center there under that one pillow. But there's storage wherever we could utilize, like a limousine. Uh, in back, uh, I'll show you in back here, it's also a tow truck, which we designed the rim tow system. And what you do inside here, you pull your step out and you slide your T-bar in and it's a, a tow truck system. Now the reason we put this on, we were going to a lot of the drag races and one of my best friends I grew up with in California is crew chief for Don Perdone. And at the time he was with Kenny Bernstein, which they pull out the dragster with this truck. So you've got 27 foot of truck, 27 feet of dragster. <laughs> it takes 40 acres to make the curve. But the reason is for dragsters or whatever, just an option. Now you can put in a, a trailer hitch and adjust it. This is just a step plate to keep from stepping on it. And a lot of my trademarks are the wings on everything that we put on, uh, our pickups. Uh, this truck behind you, you've probably seen it around town. This is our shop truck right behind us here. And we found that we had going to the nationals and the shows, uh, we had to come up with the new colors. And uh, this is the pink and purple and lowrider. And we call it Mahaney's Custom Trucks. Of course, we spelled trucks the way we wanted to on that in Stillwell, <laughs> Oklahoma. It's T-R-U-X. -T and uh, that's kind of one of our trademarks that we wanted to do. And then we cut the exhaust and run the megaphones out. But this truck is run every day. And it is won several shows whenever we show it for the new style. The new style, a lot of the 50s colors are coming in back real big with the, the aquas and the purples and the pinks and all this. So we had to come up with something in the new trend. Getting back to the truck here, we have gone basically coast to coast with it. It's been in three magazines. It's, you've probably seen it on TNN nine times that I know of that they've showed it. Uh, see, last year we took first in Houston, Texas. And then October, we took runner-up with it. So it's done quite well. There's probably 30-some trophies that the truck has won in car shows. And the reason we go to car shows is 
is to try and get more custom work and see our product that we do have. Uh, behind us over here we have a 54 Chevy Corvette. Uh, it's not totally original. It, it's supposed to have a six cylinder. It has a 350 V8 in it. There's uh, very few of these cars around. Uh, we try and uh, have some for sale all the time. Uh, but this is a real fun little car. Now, what year would have been the first year that they came out with Corvettes? 53 was the first year. Uh, at Lake Auction, I seen about three or four of them that was there, and uh, the oldest Corvette uh, they had in existence was a 53, and it was a number three Corvette. This is a 54. It's not totally original, so I would, if I was going to show it, I'd have to show it as a modified. Uh, we have a 350 V8 with a Nova subframe. We've got a tilt steering column in there. Uh, we have a cassette, but it still looks almost original. Mm -hmm. What did it look like when you first brought it up here to the shop? Well, this car here, I uh, bought the car or traded for it. Uh, it was almost finished. We've done a lot of color sanding and just finished touches on this car. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a lot of them that we've built. Uh, I'll show you some that we're building out and back. Uh, I'll show you some cars that we have built to here in just a few minutes that we've got lined up. Uh, this one behind us is a 67 RSSS. And a few years ago, uh, when the ice snow, uh, snow storm wiped us out, this car was smashed and we've rebuilt the car. Uh, the boys that work for me in the shop rebuilt it. Uh, it's got gold pearl in it. It's a four-speed car, and we've we've won quite a bit with this car. Uh, the original looks. It's a '67 model, and it it was smashed pretty good. And some of them we had 11 cars smashed, and we kept two or three of them and sold the rest because it was just damaged so bad. Mm -hmm. If you remember, Barbara Fairchild's limousine was smashed pretty bad, too, yeah. and we rebuilt it. And now you can see the gold pearl in the paint coming out as the sunlight hits it there and highlights. We've won best paint with this uh, car twice. Uh, we had a 69 Camaro that we just sold, uh, which beat this car in the last car show that we entered. So it was an awful nice car, too, and it went to Oklahoma City. Phil, we've noticed uh, on the front of this truck here, it has an unusual paint design to it. Okay, what we've done here is we call this truck the Pink Lightning, or the Pink Up. And what this is is pearl, and we've made it into the lightning bolts. Now, Mouse Chewy works for me, and it took us nine and a half hours just to lay our pattern out. And then we, we shot the pink, and then we came back in and highlighted and airbrushed it in as is the purple and then we pearled the whole hood and cleared it the whole works so that we get this effect uh, the scallops the old flames uh, we wanted ours to be just a little bit different so we call it the pink lightning <laughs> <laughs> or the pink up whichever <laughs> one okay. on our right here we have a the 54 corvette and on our left the 84 and phil is going to tell us some of the difference between them well, from 84 to 54, you can see the difference in them. Now, the reason we brought this one out is to kind of show you the difference. We got this car. Uh, it's got 20-some thousand miles. We don't get it out that often. Uh, it's like a brand-new car. Uh, we, we just very seldom, you see, unless it's a parade or something, that we get it out. Mm -hmm. But the reason we brought it out is very seldom you find a 84 with 20-some thousand miles. Uh, compared white with red interior and white with red interior, there's a big difference over the years of how the Corvettes have changed. And I guess, do both of them have the fiberglass body? All, all Corvettes are fiberglass. Now, the newer Vets have the rubber bumpers, which is a little bit different. Uh, but all Corvettes are basically the fiberglass body. This car here has a black convertible top this one the whole center section comes out uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, this one, fuel injected, whatever. There's a big difference in horsepower, too. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess the Corvette has always kind of been uh, in the forefront of American car manufacturing. That's the one everybody would love to have. Yeah, I think I think so. If everybody had their choice, that'd, that'd be in the top five of almost everybody. Well, we'll go next to it here. We've got a 55 Chevy. Uh, this one here, my daughter shows it. This is her car. This is Leanne's car. She's helped her mother on the interior poster work in the trunk. It's pearl white uh, with the maroon and she's won several times with this. I believe she's got five trophies that she's won. She's had to save up her money for the emblems and the, the glass and, and she's just, when we go to a show, her mama drives it and she has to keep it clean until it's judged. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like showing stock. She has to take care of it. Yeah. But it's a neat little car. She wanted the pink graphics, so most of the 55s have got uh, black or white in this section right in here. And we have got the pink and then the graphics on the side that, that she wanted on there, so we put that on for her. It's uh, got a 350 with an automatic. The interior, we've got, you notice we've got a drive-in speaker that we show with it. Kind of the 50s trend. Well, this is like a brand new 55 Chevy. And this was during the time when each year they would come out with a completely different car. They just, if you look from a 56 to a 55, it's just completely different. Well, 5, 6, and 7 on Chevy was very popular. Now we've got a, a 56 that we're going to be building, a two-door post, Bel Air, that was about the same shape that this one was in when we built this one. Uh, 55, 6, and 7, that's America's heartbeat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to me, I like the 55. 57 was very popular. Uh, 58, they changed them and went to the big boat, which we just sold our white 58, and uh, they weren't that popular, and now they've crushed them all. Now try and find a 58 is very hard. So we brought in a 58 and built it, which I just sold it. The 59s and 60s, 63s and 4s are real popular now too. And then what we call the muscle cars are real big too. The Camaros are, are real big now. Uh, four speeds and horsepower, that's the thing because there's no horsepower today compared to what we had back then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be behind us over here is a 59. Chevy pickup that we brought in. Uh, about the only thing we've done to this one, it's been in storage for years. I've just bought this pickup. Uh, we put new tires and trim rings. This will go original. It's a six-cylinder three-speed. Uh, it's actually got 27,000 miles. It's been in, <laughs> in the barn most of its life. And so all the hoses and everything were just rotted completely off. So we've, we've been getting it ready, and we'll eventually restore that and show it as original pickup. So those stories about a know. car or pickup being in a barn somewhere actually are true. Once in a while we'll find them. <laughs> we have, of course you have to pay an arm and leg to get them, but uh, if you can get a real good one to start with and when we redo the paint job on it and, and get it up to show quality, then we'll start showing it. But it uh, is a very nice truck to start with. And, she piled garbage, the lady that owned it, and piled garbage in it. And I bought it from a friend of mine that bought it from her. And he hadn't had it out of his garage in three years. So it, it's a unique pickup. Yeah. <laughs> Over here, I want to tell you about this 53 Chevy. This belongs to Tommy Johnson in Georgia. Johnson from Westville. And this little car... Uh, He's the second owner of it. We've gone from front to rear. Now, Tommy built the motor and all the mechanics and brought it in, and uh, we just started in on it. Everything's been re-chromed. Uh, we'll let you look at it a little bit here. But we took it to Ennis, which is Dallas, Texas, and we took runner-up. 
in the big national Super Chevy shows, which you'll probably see a lot of these on TV. But we was very proud for our customer to take runner up in second place. Mm -hmm. uh, That's with quite this, an accomplishment. Uh, made me just as happy as he was to see it win. Yeah. And uh, the competition, what beat us was a little 52 Chevy convertible rolled out of a trailer, and it's about a $30,000 car that took first place. We'll take second any day to that. <laughs> yeah. But we'll show you around a little bit on the car. It's just totally original. One of the things you notice is that the engine compartment is not full like you see on today's models. It's six cylinder. It's got the old Power Glide two speed transmission automatic. Uh, Tommy is very proud of, of the car. We've got parts from all over the United States that we needed for it. Uh, the interior, my wife and mom has done all the interior. But if you notice, we had to paint the dash, the steering wheel, just, just everything. Try and make it as original as we could. Uh, the chrome on the side, uh, you know, some of them we could not find. We had to use what we had. Mm -hmm. But it's still to go to the Nationals and take a runner up with well pleased with it. Even in, you're judged in the trunk, underneath the car, the chrome, uh, the rubber gaskets. So if you notice, it's just like a brand new car. In fact, it's probably better because there's a whole lot more paint on this car. <laughs> and it also has, it looks like a uh, owner's manual or something That's there correct. by the wheel. That's correct. And it's original floor mats that we order in for them, but it's totally restored. We haul some of our cars, like we don't drive them, we haul them mm -hmm. to where we're going. Um, don't want to get any more chips or anything on them. And put any more unnecessary mileage on right. them for that. Right. Okay, our next model here is a show truck. Phil, can you tell us something about this one? Okay, this is a little 67 Chevy pickup that we bought, and then we've been finishing it up. Uh, it's got a big block 396 in it. Uh, we started out the first year at Starberg Show, and we won first in our class. We won Outstanding Truck, and then we won a cash award. Then we've went to Ennis in Dallas, Texas. We took first place there uh, at the Nationals. And then you win your jacket and your shirt and everything that you win with it. Again, Mouse Chewy goes with me on all the car shows. Uh, John Grayson has started with our team. Uh, keeping them detailed and polished up, one man can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. Of course, my wife and daughter uh, help us keep them shined up. But this truck, we've been on to a good roll with this one. Two weeks ago, we were in Topeka, Kansas, and we got runner-up at the Nationals there. Uh, our next show will be in Oklahoma City at the Super Chevy Show and at the drag strip, the new drag strip they have out there. And we'll see what we can do there. Now, the competition is very hard. They judge the engine, uh, door jams underneath the truck, just every thing is a, uh, is a point and you have a team of judges that judge the vehicles same way with Tommy's 53 everything is judged on how it looks so this one here there's lots of chrome it's got uh, solenoid uh, door door buttons we've got the French antenna which is power and then inside the truck as you can see the interior is a new style of, of interior that's coming up, the billet of aluminum. Uh, every nut and bolt on this truck's brand new, the sound system. If you can see the back of the hood, you see the louvers, that's the 50 style, the louvered hood. No door handles, and I've got a pickup that I could show <laughs> you that we're building in a 91 model SS 454 that we're doing the same trend. Weld up all the holes in the bed. Mm -hmm. No door handles, just plain Jane look. Uh, when you take and put the French antenna, you can't put your gas tank there, so you put a fuel cell, which is inside and in the bottom. If you notice, the, the handle is on the inside where everything on the outside is molded in and no 
just completely smooth. Right. Our wheels, uh, that's the biggest comment, a plain Jane look on it, but it's a new trend. And around here in the back, the pink up in this truck also has the exhaust where we actually saw the bumper and run our megaphone exhaust out the rear, which the megaphone, they've got the engraving where it comes out the rear. Uh, that's another one of our trademarks. But smoothie tailgate, uh, we're still doing things to this truck uh, that we've got planned to do. Underneath the fuel cell is all aluminum, so we also are laying underneath the truck, polishing all the chrome and stuff underneath the truck. <laughs> so it does take a crew to get it all ready to go. This fat boy has a time getting underneath <laughs> the truck. <laughs> and over here we've got a uh, 39 Chevy that we just finished. Uh, you might have seen it in Tulsa at the Lake Auction. This belongs to Gary Chapman in Tahlequah. We do a lot of his cars, uh, work for him. Uh, this one is, all of our paint jobs have got urethane on them and color sanding, hand rubbed out. This car was a, a pretty nice car to start with, but uh, this was how he wanted me to build it with the skirts, the color, the maroon stripe. Uh, I'll open the door on the other side here and show you the interior that he wanted, which the wife and mother have done. But this, he said, was his style of car in his days, and that's the way he wanted me to build it. So uh, this car here uh, went across the auction block, and it bid 14100 and he wouldn't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> now, has, has there been any reconstruction to this one? Did, was it in bad shape, or has it just been brought we've, up to date? We've got pictures of, yeah, it, says, it was pretty rough. But the, the dash and all of the window frames are total original. We haven't painted those. It's got the town and country horn and the interior. We had put all new headliner in the, in the back. And But this is the colors and everything that he wanted us to build the car. But uh, he's got a collection of cars that he has, a little 48 Chevy convertible and, and just, I think he's got another 39. But these uh, color scheme is what he wanted. Uh, if you can read on the license plate there, it says 39. It's the original motor. Everything's been redone. But it's it's a nice little car. So we thought we'd show you two of our customers' cars, which is Gary Chapman's and Tommy Johnson's that we've built. And there's numerous other cars that we've built over the years that's been in car shows. Mm -hmm. You've got a beautiful collection here, and we appreciate you letting us look at them here, and uh, we might uh, go and look at some of the trophies that you've won from all of these shows you've went to. So We're in the trophy room of Phil Mahaney's shop, and Phil is going to tell us a little bit about, uh, let's see, we're looking at the picture of the uh, cowboy limousine, I believe. Okay, that was in DeCoin, Illinois, and uh, we were just pulling in at the park there. That's the Street Machine Nationals. Uh, up in front, you can see Mouse Chewy's up there, and he's waving to the people there as we was pulling in. But they shot a poster of us there, and then the one next to it is one of the magazines that it was in. Uh, like I say, it's been in, well, really four magazines that we know of, and then, of course, our name has appeared on a lot of the magazines, and Mouse has started uh, picture frame and some of the stuff that mean a lot to us, like Hot Truck magazine filmed it. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it in their magazine yet, but they filmed us quite a bit, and that's their license plate that they put on the truck. Over to the left, all the way over, that was in Springfield, Missouri, as we were pulling in. They shot a poster of it there. But uh, that was last year, I believe. 
But again, that truck in the newer model uh, style is been winning because it's so different. Mm -hmm. Can't really say that I like a pink front end on my truck, but we had to <laughs> come up with something to stay with the trend because these new colors were knocking your eyes out. <laughs> uh, the, the greens up there in the far corner up there, there's a yellow truck with a pink front end on it called the Splash Look. And uh, the colors are just unreal that you see at the Nationals. So mm -hmm. we wanted to come up with something on ours, and it's, it's been good to us. Now the trophies, I, I can show you the ones that mean the most to me. It's kind of like winning the Grammy Awards at these Nationals. Yeah. And I'll point out which ones that, that they were. I imagine with so many of them, you kind of almost lose track of what is what. My daughter can, can remember them, but I, <laughs> this one here, this was Outstanding Truck and Dar uh, Daryl Starberg show, which means uh, out of the show, we won the Outstanding and we got a cash award with it, plus one of these big trophies, and I really don't remember which one it was. I think it was this one here. Uh, we've won best paint on several of our vehicles. Uh, over here on this other end, uh, the people's choice, the people's voting for you are a lot of these. Uh, this one here was in 1990. I told, told you that we won Super Chevy in Houston, Texas. Then last October, we got runner-up, which was this one here, and their plaques. Uh, in 91, with the big truck, uh, we won most popular entry with the big truck. And these, this is the uh, Texas Motorplex, the plaque that we won first place in our class. And like I say, they give you the jacket when you win first. But being in the top five is very, very hard to do. So to place uh, means a lot to us to go to these nationals. And this is the one I won in Topeka, Kansas. I got a runner up on the little red truck. Um, there's so many different ones. I really to, there's a lot of third, second place, first place. But our goal is to to place with our vehicles, mm -hmm. to be in the top three or the top five, whatever they're giving out. And most of these trophies have been won in the top three or top five. But the bigger ones is most of these the truck have won uh, in '89. Again on the red truck, the the limo truck. This is the one that the people vote for you. And this is all around there at Ben Garrett Park, the Super Chevy uh, truck show. Uh, this was first place that we won that year and it was in the magazine. And they have a tremendous show down there on nothing but trucks. So that's why we try and have pickups in these shows. Um, Westville has a good show. Uh, it's getting bigger every year. Uh, they had it at Baldor parking lot this year. And it was a real good show. And it's on Loyalty Day. And it's worth it to go out and see the car show that they put on. I believe there was over a hundred and some cars there. And top quality cars. Competition is tough out there. Mm -hmm. So it's one of them things that you keep polishing and trying to get them ready for the show. And this is one of the projects that Phil has started, a 63 Chevy. And Phil, could you tell us something about this car? Okay, this car was one that was smashed when the building fell in. And we're standing in the building that fell in and smashed 11 cars. But we wanted to keep this car. We've taken the door handles off, no chrome. It will be similar to the little red truck. Uh, I had to get trunk and hood. And we shot the car once. And we've coming back in. And where you see primer spots and trying to make sure that we have it straight. Uh, the roof, we found a few more spots that we wanted to work out. So it's whenever I have time, I'll spray this car. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've noticed all around the building here that uh, you've got uh, memorabilia and collector collectibles from uh, the car shows you've been to. Okay, over in the corner here is our dash plaque. See, anytime you enter a car show, they give you a dash plaque telling what the show is. And so we had to figure out a place where we was going to put those, and we put them on this oak board. And then all the stickers and decals uh, look around there are just from 
to Coin, Illinois, to Houston, Texas, wherever that we've gone to a show. And we're just putting them on the wall. And we'll pick up uh, pieces. There's uh, Ennis drag strip, the advertisement that they had, and just different things that we picked up at different shows or races or whatever. And incidentally, at the Super Chevy shows, you have all the drag strips, like Ro Roger Augustus. Uh, jet cars are there and the jet trucks, so you have the the drags going on, which are the nationals, mm -hmm. and then you have the biggest swap meets that you've ever seen of car parts, and then you have the car shows. So it's not just a small show; these are the the nationals, and all the magazine coverage is there also. Mm -hmm. But this this is the building that went in, and we're still working on it and getting it the way we want it. We trying to make it look in the 50s look with parking meters, drive-in speakers, <laughs> stoplights. But uh, trying to rebuild over the years, it's been hard. This building was wiped out. Yeah. Okay, this is a, a truck that we're building that's going to be on the same line as the little red truck. It's a low rider truck. We take the door handles out and we put them with buttons, solenoid buttons. We weld up all the holes. And then on the rear, we put the tailgate latch on the inside. And this will be a show truck. I'm building this for Mark Alexander out of Siloam Springs. This will be in some car shows. On the rear, we take and put the roll pan. No, no, uh, no handle on it, but it's going to be some wild colors, the new colors. And we're not sure just exactly how we're going to do it just yet, but we're working on it. Again, this was a customer's vehicle that we're customizing for. Mm -hmm. This is the back building. This is about the same shape that the 55 Chevy was in. This is a 56 Chevy that we're building, and we've got all the glass in it. And first chance, we'll bring it over and we'll build it. But it uh, is a pretty good project. We're, we're having the motor and everything built right now. And behind it, we have a 64. Again, I was telling you that the 63 and 4 and 2 are coming on big. Now we've got the new motor and transmission in this one. Again, when I have time, we'll pull it in and build. Now what's happening to me on this, I'm having customers come in and say, I want that car, and I want you to build it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm selling these before I even get a chance to build them. Yeah. <laughs> like, like this little Studebaker right here is a 51 model, and it's going to be the peach color. I bought it and brought it in from Oklahoma City. Uh, the no, lady. It, it's the one with the. Bullet does nose. it have the headlight in the middle of it there? For well, or is that the, the bullet nose? <laughs> no, 51. <laughs> they were ugly then. They're still ugly. But <laughs> these are real popular cars, and this is going to be low rider in the peach colors. And this lady is in her 60s. That's having me build this car from Wilburton. And she wants a hot rod Studebaker, so we're going to build it for her. <laughs> and I've got a 54 Chevy two-door hardtop that we're building. I'm having all the glass put in it right now, and it's in Fort Smith right now. We're having all cut tinted glass. I've got the motor and everything, transmission. It's ready for the paint and interior and chrome. It was back here, and I had a customer come in and from Oklahoma City, and he wants me to build it for him. So it'll be red and white. It'll be a two-door hardtop. Behind the 64 back here, It's a 55 Buick Special. Now this car, the motor, transmission, everything is an A1 shape, but it needs some glass and it needs the fender work. Now the story on this car, the lady, uh, when she quit driving, a doctor brought it from her and he was going to build it, which he had some work done to it, called me and, and I bought the car from him. And we will build this one. And we're not real sure how we'll build it yet, but it, all of these are for sale. Uh, if I have a chance to build them, build them the way I want, then I do it. And it, you might have seen a little, what we call the little green wagon, lowrider wagon that we was using in the shop. We just sold that car. It was bright green with pink and purple stripes and lowrider. <laughs> <laughs> you could see it coming a mile away, but again in the new colors. Uh, we sell whatever or whatever they want us to do. If they have one to build or if they f find one back here, we'll build it. This car here belongs to Jack Owens. Uh, he's been working on it 
for about a year. I'm helping him build it. He's a good friend of mine. And we're doing this a little bit of a, at a time. This is a 55 Ford. He lives in Tulsa, and what he's doing, he takes the chrome home and shines them up and has it done. And mm -hmm. when he comes down on weekends, I kind of coach him on what we need to do next. And this will go back aqua and white, but it's a project car. But So uh, this car, we knew it belonged to somebody else because it was a Ford, right? Right. <laughs> well, no, I got a Studebaker here. Well, this also uh, belongs to yeah. uh, another lady, doesn't well, it? Well, it was my car at first, oh, and I it? sold it to her. <laughs> Then I've got a 47 Ford behind there that one day will be my shop truck, but now it had a rafter go right through the hood when the buildings fell oh. in. So I've got to find a hood, but eventually that'll be a hot rod pickup for the shop that we'll have be driving around. But uh, I'm not strictly all Chevy. I, I Most of mine are Chevys, <laughs> if you notice. But, uh, now, George Roberts, you know, he's a Ford man, so we get good arguments. <laughs> And the car you're looking at now may be uh, one of the most famous ones. Uh, Phil built this limousine for country and western star Barbara Fairchild. And Barbara is a good friend of Phil and Lindy's. Uh, Phil, I know you can't do all this by yourself, and you said you'd like to give credit to your workers here for the fine job that they do. Okay. Uh, we have uh, David Bailey. Uh, he does the framework in the shop. He does all the uh, real bad crashes on the framework. Then I have Mouse Chewy or Joe Chewy. Uh, he travels with me to all of the shows. Um, he's my right arm in car shows. He knows exactly how we need to load them up and unload them. And uh, he just my right arm. Then I have John Grayson that's just started with us. And then I have Joe Young uh, that works with us. I've had a numerous different boys over the years. Again, Phil Mahaney don't take credit for it. Then my mom, Louise Holton. Uh, my wife Lindy, my daughter Leanne helps us in the shop now and she shows her little 55. So it's not just me, it takes a crew to do these. And again, we try and do what the area wants us to do. If you have a crash or, or need an estimate, we'll be glad to give you the estimate that you need. If you want your car detailed, we'll try and get it detailed. That's buff and wax, steam the motor. And then the poster work that we do, we do furniture, whatever that you need us to do, we do that also. Um, again, we're not just doing the custom cars, we'll, we're here to service Stillwell area. We're going on 14 years and we'd be glad to help you in any way that we can. We sell wheels and tires and just try and help you in whatever way that we can that you need for your car. That's about it. <laughs> okay. And we'd like to uh, give you a special thanks for bringing all the cars outside. I know it took you a long time to get them all cleaned up and everything, and you got them out there and parked for so that everybody here in Stillwell could get a good look at them and find out what's going on out here. And we really appreciate you taking the time. I know you've been very busy here with all your work, and we appreciate it. Well, we appreciate having you out. Uh, I like to get them out and start them up and just set them, I mean, at least. Uh, that little Corvette, I think I slept in it a few nights, <laughs> just, just setting in it. And the wife accused me of staying out there just wanting to know if I wanted a pillow to come out there and sleep in it that <laughs> night. Well, I enjoy the cars, and I appreciate you coming out and wanting to see what we're doing out here. And Again, this is known as Rabbit Trap. And we have the Red Rose of Rabbit Trap. They've got the Yellow Rose of Texas, so we're known as Rabbit <laughs> Trap. Thank you. In case you'd like to visit Mahaney's Custom Auto, it's located in the Rabbit Trap community, eight miles west of Stillwell. Turn right at the Knight Stallion Station sign, come about a quarter of a mile down the road. Turn right and come down this shady lane and you'll find the garage area. 
And Phil said he would like for everyone to come 